Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my uh, review for Lucha Underground. Um, this is a new wrestling company. Um, I believe it it actually started on October two thousand on October twenty ninth. I said almost said two thousand nine. October 29th, 2014. I don't know if it was around before that, but this was like the premiere episode of it, though. And, yes, it's not October 29th today, but give me a break. I couldn't find this for the longest time, and uh, I think I tried to watch it on demand, and it came out in all Spanish. So I found a YouTube clip of it, and it's all in English. So at least that's good. Um, so let's, uh, get right into it. I'm gonna, this, uh, company is mainly, uh, <clears throat> people from, that have, uh, what, the, what do they call, that, uh, un luchas, loot, uh, the loot, you know, the, from the luchadors, uh, they're, uh, what do they call them? I forget what they call them. You know, the Mexican wrestlers that, uh, oh, fuck, you know what I mean? Um, and that's really what the, that they said that this was for. But I'm going to talk to you about this as I go on. It was the first episode, and I'll give you my overall thoughts on it at the end. So the commentators were actually Matt Stryker and Van Perlo. Um, I, no, Matt Stryker used to be in the WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, and he uh, was the commentator there. He was well. He was. He did everything. He hosted NXT. He was a commentator. He wrestled. So he did everything there. Um, he uh, was a backstage interviewer. So Matt Stryker. I'm just surprised they let this guy go because I love this guy on commentary. He uh, gives like those little known facts about things. Um, about certain superstars, so I don't know why they ever got rid of Matt Stryker. I think they should have kept him on commentary. And Vian Puro, I h never really heard of. Um, I think I heard about it. I think he's in the encyclopedia book, so that might have been th the only time, excuse me, I heard about him. But other than that, I haven't really heard about Vian Puro. But they show a video package of uh, this guy. It is, we've, we, we find out his name is... Dalo Cuda Cuda Cudi Studio. I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, I will, that's gonna be a learning thing. And it says you should come work for me. It shows them fighting in like an alley somewhere, and, and he tells them you should come work for me in Lucha Underground. He talks about how they have these different palaces that um people wrestle in for many years, and this is where the uh, Lucha Doors wrestle. And I think that was awesome. So then he comes out, this guy, uh, the owner, and he's a heel. Everybody hates this guy. Um, he actually looks like an actual heel, too. Um, and I actually like this guy. Um, I think he makes a good heel, and you're going to find out more later on. And he pretty much says that uh, he's happy that about all the luchadors that come here to Lucha Underground. I think that's what they're called, luchadors. And um, says that... Uh, He's going to give a, uh, a con like a contract bonus. Um, it was like $1 million. And whoever impresses him the most tonight will get the money. And he said, then he says, welcome to Lucha Underground. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you could see where this is going probably. So then we got Blue Demon Jr. versus Chavo Guerrero. That was awesome. I um, I hadn't seen Chavo Guerrero wrestle. Um, I actually was gonna say I was gonna come on this video and say since the WWE, um, but I forgot he was in TNA. That, but he really didn't do anything in TNA. So I what stands for Total Non Top Stop Action, but now it's called Impact Wrestling. Um, but uh, yeah, I forgot he was in TNA. Um, he was a t in a tag team and all that stuff, but. He, I think he, yeah, TNA did nothing with Chavo, uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, he just mainly made him a tag team wrestler, but this wasn't a bad match, um, I thought it would be better, but it was in the opener match, I think if it was longer, it would be better, um, and, 
it was actually a decent match. I like Blue Demon Jr. I thought he was a, he would be a hero because of his name. Is a he calls himself a demon. He he has the word demon in his name, so I thought he would be the heel. But Ch he was actually acting like the face, and Chavo was actually acting like the heel heel. So how does it end? Uh, what happens is uh, Chavo um, tries to do a hurricanrano off the top, but then the but then uh, Blue Demon counters into a power bomb, and then he gets him in a similar room where he hooks his legs, and then he grabs one of his arms, and Chavo Guerrero taps out from that. The match was pretty good. Um, it wasn't a bad match, but I thought it was good stuff. Um, I don't really think Chavo needed to go over there. I think Chavo Guerrero was mainly there to put over the younger talent. Um, I don't know. I don't think see him being there full time. So then, um, Dario Shuda, Shudo, I think that's, I don't know how to say his name, and Conan, I wrote Conan, or Conan, I don't know how to say this guy's name, I don't really know this guy's name, I just went from what I heard, um, he's a manager there, and he brought up this new hot guy named Prince Puma, and he, he's, this guy's gonna be like the next talent ever, and, um, I think that was good stuff, so then, um, Prince Puma, um, he's, and, uh, Duo Shudo wants, um, Prince Puma to beat John, Johnny, um, Mundo, that's John Morrison from the WWE, which we now we know what John Morrison was, we haven't seen that guy uh, in a while, we haven't, I haven't seen him wrestle since the WWE, so it was nice to see John Morrison again, but he wants him to beat him tonight, because he doesn't think Johnny Mundo, um, really wants to be here for the wrestling, and the fame, he wants to be here just for the money. and No, for the wrestling and the heart and stuff. But he wants to be here just for the money. So I thought that was good. Good. This guy is just an awesome heel. He looks like a heel. So then we got Prince. So Prince Puma um, had a little video package. Um, I wrote backstage, but he wasn't. They pretty much talk about what he's like. Um, and they show him doing all his moves. So it's kind of what it was. He didn't only really talk. So then we got Son of Havoc, which is an odd name, versus Sexy Star. Um, Sexy Star is a diva, and Son of Havoc's actually a uh, male. So it was nice, well, female. So I don't really know if they call uh, what they call the women's wrestlers there, if they call them women or divas. But um, Son of Havoc's a guy, and um, Sexy Diva we find out is a so, no, is um a uh, woman who uh was gonna commit because she they played a video package for her and uh, she lived through um some ab an abusive life and she was thinking about she was contemplating on committing suicide but then this mass saved her life and then she started to become um you know a, a lucha a lucha door. And then decided to become a wrestler. Went to Lucha Underground. And now she fights for all the women out there that uh, are sexy and stuff like that. She wants to be a hero to them. So uh, this is good stuff. And she actually was pretty good. But Son of Havoc gets on the mic and says uh, that he's not going to wrestle a girl. And he wants her to get outside the win and take the, and get counted out to save her the hum. To save her the hum. And she goes about to do so. But then at five, she get she gets back in the win and attacks, um, son of havoc, and um, she attacks him and um, she pretty much kind of kicks his ass. But then um, eventually, son of havoc picks her up and drops her drops her down, um, knee first, knee first to the face and gets the win. So uh, I wasn't expecting him to get the win. I actually want well, I mean I I it's. I guess I'd expect it, but um, I was I really wanted the sexy diva to win this match. Um, I I you know I just really rooted for her. I liked her uh, character, and I just think it was awesome. But it, the woman actually fight the guys in this promotion. That's awesome. Um, and what else happens? Um, yeah, but this guy Son of Havoc too had a deep voice. Like it was deep. I don't know if they use a voice box or what, but this guy's voice was deep as hell. And his beard was kind of weird, too. So then Chavo Guerrero is backstage. And Duo, you know, the manager comes up. Um, no, wait. Dario comes up and says uh, that he wasn't impressed with Chavo Guerrero. He thought 
he would beat Blue Blue Demon and make him look like nothing. And um, he says that uh, he's not impressed with him. He's not going to give him the grant. He's going to find someone else to get the job done. And he even said, too, that your um, grandfather and uncle would be disappointed in you. And uh, I thought that was awesome stuff. So then we got the main event. The main event was awesome. Johnny Mundo versus Prince Puma. This was an awesome main event. It was awesome. Um, Prince Puma. Where can I even begin with this main event? Um, he actually dives on um, Johnny Mundo. And he hits a cross body on him. But he kicks out of it. Um... He, they wall outside the ring, and Johnny Mundo is behind the announcer's table, and he goes to go off the announcer's table, and he misses, and then Johnny Mundo tries to run at him, and John, no, no, Prince Puma tries to run at him, and Johnny Mundo throws him face first into the steel post. That was awesome. Um, Prince Puma um, hit a springboard. Um, double knees, that was awesome, and he kicked, which uh, Johnny Mundo kicked out of. Johnny Mundo hit one, but two knee chucks, like that, that knee move he would hit when you're on the ground, that was awesome. And then he hits the flying chuck, Johnny Mundo hit the flying chuck, and Prince Puma kicked out of that. Um, Prince Puma hit a shoot and stop press, um, and uh, he hit a... Uh, he went off the top rope and hit a flying senton. That was awesome. Um, and Johnny Mugno kicked out of all that. And so then eventually uh, Prince Puma tried to go off the top rope and I think hit like a moonsault or something. And then uh, Johnny Mundo hit the moonlight drive, which was the neck breaker he used to do. And it, Prince Puma kicked out of that. I thought that was going to be it, but no. And then eventually uh, Johnny Mundo hits like a stand and flip. He like and he flips as well. That was awesome. And then he hits the starship pain, which he calls the end of the world now. Um, which he like, which is when like he splits his leg and does a moonsault off the turnbuckles. That was awesome and gets the victory. And afterwards they shake hands. And then Di Diario, yeah, Dao, whatever his name um, is, comes out and says that he's Johnny Mundo's earned the money. But he said, but he doesn't give it to him. He closes the case and he goes and he tries to grab it. And then these two guys jump Prince Puma and Johnny Mundo from behind. I didn't find out these guys' names, so I don't really know. But they jump them from behind. And then um, who do we see come out but Ezekiel Jackson. Um, I haven't seen him since. Well, I know he was in TNA, but live. I haven't seen, you know, he, when he was helping out Dixie Cotto and stuff like that. Fend off Bully Ray and he joined her group. So I guess that's the last time I've seen him, but uh, it feels like. It, but I didn't. Wa I wasn't watching TNA then, so really I haven't seen him since probably 2012 when he was in the WWE doing nothing. So Ezekiel Jackson was a nice to see him, and he throw and he throw and he pushes Prince Puma, and the one of the guys picks up Prince Puma, and the other guy hits a double knees to the nose, which is like a code breaker, breaker to lay him out, and then Ezekiel Jackson hit the book of Ezekiel on. Um, John Morrison, and uh, he gets the money. And the, uh, afterwards, the end of the show, Dario says uh, that you don't have to be a luchador to work here. I just want the best competitors. And he's, then uh, it ends with him saying, welcome to Lucha, Lucha Underground. So then that was the show. And I actually, it really wasn't a long show. It was only like 43 minutes. That's why the, mainly the video is so short, because the shorter the show, the shorter the video. But this was a good show. I liked seeing... Everything was uh, pretty spot on. And uh, it's another wrestling show for me to watch now. I can finally... I finally have another wrestling show to watch. I have WWE, TNA. I count NXT as kind of its own thing. But... Um, because it's... They don't really... Ref, they don't, WWE and NXT don't really reference each other. Um, and now... Uh, Lucha Underground. So that's awesome. So as for that... I, uh, every week, I think every Saturday, I'm going to make this a regular thing where I do a review of this show, and I think that's awesome. Um, and I thought it was a good show. The one negative I don't like about this show, though, and it's nothing bad, it's the mind of thin, is during the match, it will cut to, like, the crowd or the commentators. I hate it when they do that. Um, it bugs me. 
that would be the one thing I don't like. Other than that, it, um, it, it's a good company um, so far. Um, and it does, the cameras do go up above the wind and stuff, but that's awesome stuff too. And the commentary is way better. I mean, we don't have them t plug in something every two seconds or, uh, you know, it's just, they focus on the math. They don't focus on other things, so that's better. But I think this is going to be a good company to review, and I can't wait to come back next week and review it. So I'll see you guys next week, and you can subscribe to all the stuff down below.